Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach loan amount calculation system. Here you can see here enter the loan amount. What is the amount you are getting? So I am going to get the amount of one lakh. So here how many months you are take to pay the one amount, uh, one lakh amount, twelve months, one year. Interest rate I am going to give as two percentage. So here click OK. Here the currency will be calculated as the dollars format. You have applied for one. Uh, this one should be the one lakh. Here you can see the amount. This is the monthly amount you have to pay for 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 a year of the period twelve months. After the total amount you have to pay twelve lakhs because the interest rate is two. So you have to pay two lakhs. Almost it will coming as two lakhs. So if you have put it as a one point five. Interest rate. Now here, it will be calculated as 1.4 lakhs. Your monthly payment is this. This is the monthly payment. So okay, very simple. How to do this system step by step? How to uh, the currency? All the number format is how to change. All the stuff we will be teach step by step. Le uh, watch, wait and watch. Okay. Now what I am going to do is go to the file new project, select Java application. Okay, I am going to create as loan amount. You click on this one. Just like frame loan. Here, what I am going to say, I have increased the size a little bit bigger. Drag one label. Here, I am going to name it as loan. Loan calculate amount calculation. Loan amount calculation. Loan amount calculation. Click on this one. So otherwise, you can see payroll loans. Payroll loan. You can see payroll loan. This is a payroll loan. Okay, this is the efficient way. Okay. So here, let's set as an increase size a little bit as like this. So after that, what I'm going to do is you have to drag one panel. This panel. Click on this one. Right click properties. Border property. I'm going to set as bevel border. Uh, bevel border, right? Perfect. Bevel border, right? After that, what I'm going to do is here. You drag the labels. This label, this amount. So your amount. Click on this one. Properties. Bold with forty. Drag the text field. Click on this one. Properties. Select this one with bold. Fourteen. Close it. Select this one again. Edit text. Backspace remove the excess. Select again. TXT amount. Perfect. After that, what I am going to select this both. Hold on Shift key down on. Control C to copy. Control V to paste below. This one should be. Month, this one should be TXT month, after that this one select both, control C, copy, control V, paste, this one should be uh, interest. This one should be TXT interest. 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 That's it. After that, what I'm going to do is here I'm going to this one should be the I have to drag one button. This one should be the calculation. So you write this right click cal calculation. Right click properties. You have to select as with bold 40 characters. Perfect. Done it. After that, what I'm going to do is I need a label. So display this all the stuff. So we no need this one. This one all the stuff you have to do this. Copy this one. Control C to copy. Control V to paste it. The same text. I'm going to here amount. Okay, here amount. The same thing. Control C to copy. 
discount will be paste here this one should be the our this one amount i have to display the second one should be the monthly monthly amount what is the amount you have to pay for the monthly after that same thing can rotate the copy can only be paste this one should be the full payment for total full payment total payment you have to pay total that's it perfect now what i'm going to say i need a instead of this one labels i have set it can to see the copy can only get the label this label i'm going to name it as txt amount sorry this one should be txt uh a uh amt i just change the name i all the amount is there the same thing can to see copy can this one should be the monthly amount txt monthly amount m m uh, amount same thing can receipt copy can only be this one to the txt total that's it select this one should be there you have to select as monthly amount with dot perfect that's it select all the stuff perfect check this one all on the shift key down on increase the size little bit bigger 18 with color i am going to change it as red perfect okay perfect right now let's do the calculation part i already did it so i no need to write again by again just copy this one double click on this in the calculate button paste it here i will be explain it Okay, perfect. I have created the double variable amount, month variable int. Okay, this is the variable. This is a data type you have to put. It's a double amount. This int means it is a month. It will be coming as not double int. Number format. This is the class you have to import it. Number format currency. This is the class. It. If you first time if you are right, it it will be asked to import the package. Uh, name says you have to enter. Uh, you have to click the bulb symbol to automatically import the namespace above. Okay, import Java dot text number format. This is inside this class. This number format is there. Okay, currency we have to create the variable currency. You have to write 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 percentage percent. You have to create the simple name. Okay. number format get currency this is the class you have to write okay this is a percentage your we no need uh, the percentage okay this is a percentage okay so if you if you want you can put it here percentage also as well after that you have to write this one this one percentage we no need get it of this one so here only the currency currency okay currency we have to calculate the two digits set minimum factor digits two digits so you have to create the two digits so that you have to put this like this after that you have to create the variable interest amount double pass into this amount which amount this what is the amount you are enter here this control c to copy you have to pass it here it convert as a double because your data type is double so you have to convert as a double pass double month int pass in you have to convert as integer as Uh, integer, okay. Int, we have to convert that. Interest double pass in your interest. Interest is this. What's the interest? Your name. And also, you copy this one. Paste it here. Right. That's it. After that, our calculation part. Double monthly payment. Your monthly payment equal amount. What's the amount you entered here? Interest divided by the month. We have divided. This is how we have calculated the monthly payment. After that, monthly payment 
and the amount you have to place it to this variable, this one. Control C to copy, this amount is displayed here. This is a currency, current, this one currency. Right, perfect. Okay, this one no needed. Uh, percentage also sub. After that, second one should be the monthly payment. This also the current C current your type. Monthly payment, this is the variable, this is the one, the monthly payment. Control C to copy. Control V to paste this one TXT dot. Perfect. Okay. So full payment how to get it here is monthly payment. What is the monthly payment you are getting here? You have to into you have to uh, into month. You have to calculate as a month. Then it will be display as a monthly payment. Sorry, full payment. Okay, monthly payment is this is the this is the core you have to this is the syntax amount into subtraction. Okay, here month month monthly payment subtract to the month. Okay, this is how we have calculated the payments. Okay, now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not. You can see here this this is not an efficient way. You just click on this one, right click properties, code generate center. This is the one thing you have to do. After that, go to the source, control F, UI, you have to UI design, where's the UI? Okay, no problem. So here, here, if I enter the amount here as three, three lakhs monthly, twelve months, interest should be two. Here, your payment is this one. This is your amount is this. The total is this. It will be working correctly, right? Perfect, right? It's a perfect one. You have to do it, right? So here, why the uh, UI design is not there? Okay, that's not a problem. Okay, this is the code. Okay, you have to use which you used to do the program, right? I hope you guys understood the things well. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. Uh, if you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.